the knowledge you seek is here. Surrender. Speak the words. Call her home. Elias, the Dark Summoner, whose origins were first unknown to us, but quickly became understood as we were thrust into the conflict between Lilith, Anarius, and Nephisto. Along our path, we came to understand his intentions were not so simple as black and white as many would colour them, though neither were they anything more than a truly dark path. So, what exactly happened along the way to the return of Lilith, and what consequences were wrought before the true hellstorm began? This is that story. Blood petals. This is what Elias was looking for. This is where he summoned Lilith. Before we get into the video, I have quite a treat for the Diablo community. Being Skytech Gaming, Intel and Signal RGB have come together to bring you this Diablo 4 inspired PC. The swirling potions inside react to your health and resources in game in real time. This is made possible by the Signal RGB app, which syncs RGB devices from any brand to bring you a cohesive lighting experience. Furthermore, the Skytech team designed and 3D printed this custom PC with performance and cooling in mind. The hand-painted chest contains the 13th Gen Intel 13600K and the RTX 4070, giving you all the legendary hardware you need to defeat Lilith and save Sanctuary. Now honestly, I will be stoked if one of the Dark Law community win this bad boy, so remember, you have to be in it to win it. And to enter the giveaway, click the link in the video description below. Good luck. Our travels took us to a city in Hauzat, Sarbanzet. A dying hovel just barely clinging to the light the streets patrolled by crusaders of the Zakaroon, and its tavern haunted by them as well. We tread our way up to the church, the sight of a curiously concerned priest perched at its entrance, and we inquired, Is everything all right, Father? If you have a moment, child. Do you require aid? I wish I didn't, but... Uh, I had a curate, a Simon, some weeks ago, he left in the company of a strange man. I haven't heard from him since, and it's unlike him. Could you... Uh... Do you know where he went? Here, he's written in this page of his journal. Always leaving these papers behind. <laughs> A man has come to our small town. Many people pass through, but there is something different about this one. Something enigmatic. Father Dimas has warned me against him, but the swordsman has invited me to journey with him. There are places filled with knowledge, he says. Well, I mean to find them. We will make camp at the decaying farmstead, east of here. Simon, the curate, the quest for knowledge is often wrought with danger. We can only hope he hadn't fell into deep. We then raced through the fetid swamplands and were accosted by bandits, but their numbers fell just shy of the might which our training had yielded. Upon one of the bandits was a key that had opened a lockbox containing yet another of Simon's journals. An odd prize to be certain. My companion seems harsh to many, but beneath his bluster and his sword lies a scholar as hungry for knowledge as I am. He knows things I never thought to seek out, and he is generous. Some scholars jealously guard all the things they know. Not him. I have asked that we pass by the statue of revered Tybalt, and though I can see he chafes at such a thing, he has granted my request. Though it had not struck us at this time, this quest for knowledge was right in line with Elias' time with the Herodrum, even if his searches often led to grimly disastrous results. Following Simon's trail, we then come to a monument dedicated to Saint Tybalt of the Zakaroon by three kneeling figures appearing somewhat frightened. 
approaching cautiously, we simply questioned of them. Have you seen a man named Simon? Fuck, I fear no demons! I need fear no darkness. The pilgrims then attempted to engage us though, were immediately frightened off by our display. Before attempting to pursue them, we stopped to read the inscription on the statue. Statue of Tobalt. My brothers and sisters rejoice. We march across this forsaken land to bring light to its darkest corners. Following after the fleeing figures, we attempted to parlay. Why did you attack me? I have been tortured, tormented for weeks. Ever since that man infected us with nightmares, with Eva. And this man, was he a swordsman with a companion? Yes, yes, with only one eye. His companion was better company. The dark influences of Lias left the minds of these men racked with fear, leaving it difficult to get much information out of them. What else do you remember? Simon tried to convince us to join them. He said they sought sacred and hidden knowledge. I didn't believe that. And I tried to convince Simon to remain with us. He didn't listen. He said if we changed our minds, they were venturing east to an underground camp marked by tusks in the marshes. What can you tell me about the two of them? Simon should have been in a library, not with him. What else do you remember? They were friendly with one another, but the swordsman hated outsiders. He muttered while he slept. Awful things, doom and the end and demons. I asked him about it. I shall never forget his face. Terrible. Demonic. I thought it was. <laughs> his name? You should know it. Elias. Elias. Pursuing the next clue, we began to move on but stopped in our tracks for a startling revelation. Our quest then brought us deeper within the primordial swamp, searching for the refuge marked by the giant tusks. We trudged through the muck, barred by snake cultists of Merlon, the serpent goddess, and their Nangari abominations, vipers with claw-like torsos. We'd heard of similar creatures. When we finally reached the refuge, we found it mostly abandoned save for a collection of wildlife which did not enjoy our presence. After dispatching the vile beasts, we move around to examine the old campsite, Dusty Cot. Two simple cots lay covered in dust. No one has used these recently. Destroyed cook pot. A few putrid scraps of meat are stuck to the ruined pot. Half-melted candles. A small collection of mostly used candles. There's nothing here. No clue, no hint of Simon. Or Elias. Oh. Here. Here. What? Speak here. As our search seemed to end, a corpse that lay in the corner began to speak. What? What are you? It has been long, long. I... Followed him, hunted him for Rathma, can show you old spell. My head, take it, will resist warn. An acolyte of Rathma. But then, this means the order had been restored after Malthiel's assault, and the one to have completed such a task could only have been. You must show them the way. 
ensure that our traditions survive. Place candles three on floor. Head, head goes there. Following the Acolyte's instructions, we placed the candles in their head and commanded, Begin the ritual. Heza! Ilan! Tora! Dormu! You can dispense with the absurd disguise, Elias. It cannot hide what I know lies within. Why do you pursue me? What do you hope to achieve? Your end, Elias. For you tamper with powers you don't understand and will doom us all with your arrogance. And I will act in accordance with my master's wishes. Rathma ignored Sanctuary in his life and death. I will save it. You will bring ruin. I will bring your ruin. Elias, are you still... accurate? What happened? An assassin. I warned you our journey would be difficult. Come. We must leave now if we mean to reach backwater in daylight. If Simon and Elias venture to backwater, then so too shall I. The head is now silent and still. Whatever lingering magic kept it animated has faded. Our search in the refuge concluded. It's time to venture on to Blackwater. Upon reaching Blackwater, we waste no time in obtaining information about Elias and Simon from a group of rough-looking individuals and ask, have you seen a one-eyed swordsman traveling with a curate? Oh, yes, yes, of course. A good friend of mine too, you know. I can take you to him for a fee. That's a bad idea, that is, Kiana. Look at them. That's no fault. That's 50 gold we won't get now. They choose the right path. From a strange fisherman rambling on about some sing-song chant. Let me tell one to ye of the West March of Free. Meet a lover of the other with their mistress. The sea. Have you seen a swordsman and a priest? Oh wait, I know this one. A swordsman and a priest enter a tavern. The priest says... Uh, uh, Damn, how'd it come again? Never mind. It was best to leave him alone. Ironic that it was a merchant who could tell us. Have you seen a one-eyed swordsman and a priest? I do remember. They were looking for cell swords. I suppose on account of the curate, he wasn't a fighting man. They picked up three. Only Sev's come back. Sev? Where is she? Out near the cove. She's not right, mind you. Won't talk to people without her mead. I've got some for her. If you've got the coin. It would seem this Sev appreciated the local mead. A few gold is a well enough cost for information. We find Sev at the coast south of Backwater, staring off into the briny abyss and offer. I bought you some mead. (sighs) 
What's it gonna cost me? Nivro tells me you left town weeks ago with two men, Simon and Elias. I'm looking for Simon. Oh, Simon. He was sweet. I should have... He didn't want gold. That was all Elias. I have nightmares about him. About Elias' true face. I left Simon with a man I shouldn't have. Maybe I can make it up to him. Another mental victim of Elias. Did his treachery truly know no bounds? His depravity completely void of forethought? Such a belief that the ends justify the means seldom conclude happily. And even when they do, it never lasts. Tell me more about meeting Elias and Simon. If I was smart, I'd have listened to my friends. Something was off. Elias kept flashing coin, telling us we'd be rich. But if it was just coin, why was Simon interested? Couldn't keep his nose out of a book. Too sweet to be treasure hunting. Still can't figure out how they got along. Who else did Elias recruit? Two blockheads. Dummer and me. Finn. Some thief from somewhere in Scots Glen. And Gelwa, a barbarian from the steppes. Swore she was in it for the glory of battle or something. Liar. <laughs> it was gold she wanted. More even than me. Finn and Gelwa. Elias is dead. Dead? <laughs> dead. Good. Good. Serves him. Though it's no help to me now. Where did you leave Elias and Simon? They went to Ezret. It's in the southernmost part of the Fethis wetlands. I can meet you there. Though Elias's passing offered some relief, it's hollow succor to one tormented soul. It was in the swamp that Elias became the creature he did. Enticed by knowledge, he travelled beyond the veil to the sunken temple of the Death Speakers to learn more secrets of Rathma, including that of immortality. He would emerge, changed, like another figure of Sanctuary's history. His state now prepared in case Lilith or anyone else would seek to destroy him. A failsafe of sorts, which we ended personally. We then finally arrived in Ezret, meeting Sev on the outskirts. Are you alright? Hell, I shouldn't have come. There weren't so many demons before. The lies did this, didn't he? In all likelihood. Alright. We were digging in a chapel. Just there. Let's go. Demons following the wake of evil. A town overrun, ruined. Rising from a chapel from which the evil was called forth. We've heard this story. Here. This is where we dug. This is as far as I went before and as far as I'll go now. I hope you find him. Simon. He deserves better than whatever Elias gave him. Above the caverns beneath the ruined chapel, we press Sev. Why did you run? We all realized one night that we were having the same dreams. Even Simon. Raining blood, fire, serpents. The more we talked about the dreams, the more it got under Elias' skin. But the dreams got worse and we couldn't stop picking them like a scab I kept awake that night to hold off the nightmares and I saw Elias his true face I ran and I didn't stop the prophecy of Rathma echoed through our minds but but was it this place or Elias that brought on such dreams the swamps of Hauzar do indeed have deep interwoven connections to Rathma and Tragul Within the tunnels beneath Ezret, 
we found architecture from ages ago. Figures of triune design as well as their markings. At the end of the Great Bridge, we found the hematic key used to unlock Lilith's gateway. Still red with the blood of recent adventurers, and it seemed in order to open the door, more may be required. But instead, we let ourselves in to find a grisly scene. Blood petals. This is what Elias was looking for. This is where he summoned Lilith. I need more time. Be beautiful in sin. Three bodies at the base of stone pillars, blood petals of Lilith, and her voice echoing in our minds and manifesting in flesh. We finally found the curate, slumped over in a gory pile, and examined the last of his journals. Poor Simon. He deserved better than Elias. I woke this morning to find that Sev has fled our company. She was harrowed by the dreams that haunt us all. I suppose it got to be too much for her. I dislike our remaining companions. The feeling I fear is mutual. Elias insists we need them. The knowledge we seek is well guarded and we cannot fight our way through alone. In the name of knowledge, I must accept them. We see of Finn, the hired thief. His body was pulled apart slowly, although no weapon marks are visible. The ritualistic symbols on his terrified face seem to have erupted from beneath the skin. What a horrible way to die. And Gelwa, the cell sword barbarian, her body was pulled apart from within. Internal organs, flesh, even skin is missing in large swaths. Her face is frozen in a hateful snarl. Whatever killed her, she fought until the very end. It was then time for us to leave. Our search concluded, so we returned to the surface only to find Sev had moved on. No sight of her anywhere in town, so instead we returned to the priest in Zabenset informing. Simon is dead. His search for knowledge ended in tragedy. No. Hakara. I had some hope. I'm so sorry. I managed to collect some of his writings. I thought you might like this. The thing to remember him by. Thank you. Oh, curse my foolishness. I shouldn't have let him go. This wasn't your fault. But the man responsible, Elias, is gone. A poor comfort to me, but it would comfort Simon. Thank you for bringing me back what was left of him. In the end, Elias had every intention of ending the eternal conflict. It seems it was his goal, his drive, and he sought it within a mother's embrace. The eternal conflict, so long as it rages on, will destroy anything caught in its path. Therein lies the burden of maintaining the balance, but it's a dark path one must walk carefully, and often alone lest others suffer in your wake. Oh, Elias. Was all this worth it then? Truly? I brought Lilith to Sanctuary. A thing no one thought possible. And when hell rises to sweep across this world, I should be there beside her, ready to push it back. You left me alone cross the lines you dare not attempt, and you have nothing to show for it. 
You are nothing but a wasted life. Do not look to forgive me, old man, because it is you who brought us here. Was it worth it? 